hello friends today i'm going to show you uh, one real time issue uh, which is faced my friend one of he was accidentally set uh, max maximum gb to uh, like 80 mb instead of 80 gb so after the, he restarted the sql server and he may I mean, unable to restart that sql server and later he but he encountered free uh, some issues so i want to you have gone through that i am going to introduce you that through that errors okay and i will show you how we, i have done how it was went and every if we encounter the same so it will be helpful for you i just am going to properties i'm going to my so right now 16 gb is there now what i am going to i am going to 128 mb okay so just i'm setting as like uh, uh, click okay done now to, in order to ch uh, change this effective like SQL Server uh, Configuration Manager I am just going to config and open this one click yes so here I am having multiple SQL servers right so as part of troubleshooting uh, for temper this is my home machine so that's the reason I have stopped all the SQL server uh, like to in order to like I am like uh, it is not relevant but I don't want to take the chance so to overcome one by one I done this so if I restart this SQL server let's see what is the error what will happen right sometimes uh, when you got the ticket you just change the ticket service uh, something like that those people will change and while giving the handover you they simply said that you just uh, restart this SQL server and inform that so once you enter in non-business hours and you restart the SQL server after that it won't it, uh, it is not getting started right so we will see that error okay what uh, how it could be and like how it will look like, okay see the request failed the service did in timely fashion error so sql server went down now what i will do i am going to services.msc i am going to sql server which is default instance so that's the reason i am going to start now here as of now i did this i have changed the configuration mode and everything right so here I came no direct like it but in real time we uh, wins some person asked me to restart the SQL server but after restarting the SQL server I am getting this error right so first we will find out how we can I am going to view and viewer go to windows log or a SQL server related to the application route so select the application and wait some time total uh, in the application category I am having 39 uh, 427 uh, records yeah now by seeing that source is CMS SQL server default instance in the error uh, 552 I was restart that I try to restart 5 52 18 p.m. in the evening so if we see here there is insufficient memory in the resource pool so if I this at that uh, there is sufficient memory I mean there is no memory to restart the SQL server okay so as of now I can show that like as of now go to performance memory to only 30 GB is utilized it means some we came to know like how much memory that we can so now now what I need to do see memory is available now i need to change the maximum memory for the sql server and i need to try again this is the thing that i need to do even though this memory is also less then then we are encountering the error then that's a troubleshooting server like uh, we need increase more memory okay but as of now the memory is available in the oa for the os but that it is but sql server is unable now we need to configure the maximum memory for the sql server how I need to do that? Why? Because I am unable to connect the SQL server. If I try to connect, obviously, like we will get um, network instance error. Okay. 
so we cannot connect that error right so now we will see okay now what i will do i will find the default instance i am going to um here go to manage instance um sorry 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 not this one go to this one properties now start up parameters so go to this thing copy the up to data Everybody start and come m to sql go to bin directory now type cmd with uh, run as administrator mode so now i need to start the sql server with minimum configuration mode now type cd paste it and end press enter now we are in there. now what i will do i am to start SQL server dot is there so minus uh, F I am starting that like that okay press enter so by default it's a default instance right so I'm not typing anything enter see multiple instance this error I am getting okay so I am unable to restart in the minimum config I will start the single user mode same thing right so let's start ms sql server i am starting the sql server using cmd let's see how it goes so system error this is the error i what i got right okay now i tried in everything like uh, sql cmd which is going to buy fun yes See, this is the error. I got it. Obviously, this is the same error if you try to go, uh, get it uh, from this thing. Okay. Now, got this error. Now we got we tried minus m. We tried minus f. We tried. We are not. We are not. It is not working. So minimize this. What I will do? I will go to the SQL Server here. And go to properties here go to startup parameters here I am using minus F so minimum configuration mode click apply click OK now try to restart it so SQL server got started but uh, sometimes in real time uh, SQL Server agent or some application will whenever SQL Server started some application directly will get login right so what I will do what I will try here I am trying uh, SQL CMD see this is the error uh, my old login, login failed server is in single user mode only one administrator connection as of now uh, I like I don't I just SQL started SQL Server there is no application I thought DB email uh, maybe will establish a network with SQL Server and everything like I started everything but every time I started uh, I encountered this error okay even in the internet also they start they said that uh, we need to restart I mean we need to stop the SQL Server or application at least there is in my case SQL Server is stopped and there is no application I have stopped to connect uh, removed the internet everything was removed but still I am facing the same issue so I didn't uh, know what happened what what application is connected so I like I just refresh this thing yeah now I just come here started here when I got this thing right so dedicated admission connection control uh, this one I established I I had a doubt I already enable um, DAC connection maybe DAC is taking the one connection is okay so I, why don't I try to connect see here we have a option called database in general select this one use uh, like admin admin colon instance name 
I press OK. So I thought this one is SQL Server is listening and everything, right? Okay, so I thought that like configuration manager go to SQL. I will disable this thing for now. Named pipes as well. So what I will do? I will do configuration manager. Click yes. Go to SQL Server. Meanwhile, I say open SSMS. Now just open this query. Now this thing. Now it got connected. Okay. So now I I, I don't know like uh, it's always big uh, like uh, disable that named pipes TCP I pull. Maybe these connections are trying to establish. I don't know. So after working these two. And meanwhile, what I would like to show you is when I do query or like project tools register server. Sometimes whenever you open the, this connection, right? Sometimes what happen, right? A local. See, whenever you open that, right? Maybe this connection is also trying to uh, acquire the connection. So sometimes you need to remove this thing as well. Okay you need to make sure that one okay as of now i was connected to this sql server which is in minimum configuration mode minimum configuration means only master database services will get connected so as of now from my is like uh, i have i'm going to change to 128 uh, gb it is done now what i need to do just go to the configuration manager uh, sql server properties uh, go to startup parameters remove this F and click apply and restart the SQL server okay now I just uh, disconnect the, I'm closing this thing now connect come here I'm just directly trying to connect to the SQL server it got connected okay so uh, if I go here go to a memory see it got changed to 120 uh, GB so this is how uh, you need to uh, troubleshoot uh, if the SQL server is unable to restart due to memory uh, issues so i hope uh, you may like this video what are the errors that i have encountered i am going to uh, paste in the description uh, in the comment box i hope you may like this video thank you bye